YouTube, we back with another early sneaker review. You can see by the box what it is. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell. We trying to you know, keep it going. Let us know y'all want us to be here. That's pretty much it. Boom. You see the sweat. What we got here today, man? What we got here today? So we got. So first off, if you didn't see the other review on the Racing Blue Fives, make sure you go check that out. It's gonna be in the description somewhere. Or if you ain't, it's gonna probably be before this video. So make sure you tap in. Bow. And we're gonna keep it funky with the blue theme. With Ooh. the yeah thing that started it off. Jordan one. I'm gonna take one. You take one. Let me see what's going on here. Color code 5550888408. Dark marina blue and white. This is size nine and a half right here, so. None of our personal sizes, so don't be asking us. But yeah, just the marina blue. That's how y'all see this. probably be come. gone anyway, but at least they hit us up. We will have some, so. So, on um, first start, you already know. This is uh, the Jordan 1, a Peter Moore shoe. This is what started it all. Uh, quick fun fact, since this is one of our first reviews on the Jordan 1, a lot of people don't think that there's an Air Soul in the Jordan 1, but it's a Nike Air Jordan 1 because there's an Air unit inside the shoe. So you can see by all these textures and everything, but this is a nice color. Uh, I'm gonna like just it. play the devil advocate and say this is not the best material that they put on the shoe in my opinion, but I like it. It's a good little blue contrast. What you think, Huss? Like I said, I like blue Jordans, period. So, I mean, ones, one thing I'm not gonna do is, I'm not gonna play with the ones. So, this a most definitely cop for me. But like I said, I mean, I, I mean the material is not the best, but it's a good smooth shoe. Yeah. You and could. I mean, this just depends on how you wear it. I mean, most people, most sneakerheads not wearing these 30 times. Where they probably get a couple wears and get put back on the shelf. And yeah. I know with Jordan ones, a lot of people want to know uh, what laces you get. So these come with the marina blue laces, and then you also get a black and a white. If you look in the inside, there's the white insole with the marina blue air, uh, Nike Air in it. So that's what it is. I mean, you take the insole out and you press right here, you can kind of see the little creases right here. But like I said, the material is not, not the tumbled. best. It's not tumbled, but it is what it is. Um. So basically, we got uh, royal. It's not a royal. It's a marina blue. But hey, that's just. I mean, I mean, this is. Do not call these the reverse royals. In hand, these is nothing royal about these. <laughs> these is the all. marina blue. Nothing at all. And we're gonna keep it going with a nice little theme that we have on the segment. Who gonna love these? The Crips gonna love these. <laughs> it just is what it is. But well, it's a blue Jordan. You gotta think about it. Jordan played for Chicago, so most of all the best shoes are red, Word. black, white. Word. So, of course, the hood gonna love these. Not my hood, but just the hood, period. The hood, period. Yeah, hood's gonna love these. Oh. If you're looking for a comparison shoe, I would say that the... Uh, the gold, what's the gold ones called? Dang. The Pilots. The, the Pilots is a good comparison shoe if you want to compare material. Of course, the tongue, you got that stiff nylon on there. You can go ahead on and switch everything out. Marina blue and white on the tab with the Nike Air. But White insole. Yeah, the yeah. The blue Nike Air. Real good. When, when the release date on these? Release date on these is February the 16th, but that's a Wednesday. I'm pretty much willing to bet the house that that's gonna change. I wouldn't bet the house. I'm gonna bet the house that this release date gonna change. No Jordan's coming you out can, on a Wednesday. You gotta look at how much stuff is coming out right now. It's about to be tax season. They know what's Ooh. up. It's gonna be dropping like bombs. Like I said in the last video, um, I don't think they gonna see it. Right now, the ones is not doing so well. They not. On the planet, are, he I'm, living on. Ones is always going. What I'm saying, and market-wise, the value. The value haven't been there where it used to be. Dollar, dollar bill. Because right now, this is probably going for 200, 210 maybe. I did see it on GOAT this morning for 245. 245 on GOAT. 
We're pretty much usually fees. any ones before release date is above 300 anyways, but I'm starting to think the dunks is taking over the ones position for right now. Bold statement. I hate that. With height. I hate that. With I height. Hate hype. I hate height. I'm sorry. With height. Hate is a strong word. Kids don't use hate, but I have a strong dislike for the hype and the way Donks is trying to take over because this is what started everything. But I digress on that part. We're going to talk about the Jordan 1 Marina Blues. What else about the shoe that, that they should Price change, no more 160, is 170. Price change to 170. So yeah, 170, no more 160, so 170. So it kind of feel a little right. hard, but um, you copping or not. Oh, I'm getting these for sure because they're Jordan 1. They're Jordan 1. You got to cop the Jordan 1. And if you come visit us at both locations, you know, mainly at the Arlington location. And if anybody knows me, I will have these on on release date. Just like that. As soon as I buy them. As soon as I buy them. Put my shoes on. That keeps me from debating or thinking about it because I wore it. It's in my collection. That's just me. But, yeah, these are very solid. Uh, a side note, I would say... This marina blue is a very hard to match color. Yeah, this is gonna be tough to match because it's not raw. Yeah. But you're gonna be seeing people with a Golden State jersey on with these on. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. But like I can say though, the quality control on this pair is pretty good. Usually yeah. you'll see blue stains and stitches out of place. Quality but control haven't been these the best lately. They did this. Ooh, do blue devil. It's giving me do blue devil vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah, do do blue devils. If you catch your old uh, Grand Hill Kyrie. What was I gonna say Grand Hill? Cause we think like that's just our. I was gonna say Grand Hill. Bro, like that. Shout out to Grand Hill. Shout out to Grand Hill. <laughs> but for me, like I said, any ones I'm not gonna play with them. I'ma cop them. Yeah. Off the top, I'll cop them. Let them sit in the closet. Cause I know one day I'm gonna be regretting not getting it. I'd rather have it and not to have it. Like I said, I'm probably going to get them for under retail just because I'm cheap like that. Use a coupon or something. I use coupons. Life flex. Get you some coupons. Get you some gift cards. Always. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're going to do. Real, real quick question. What you think about foot action closing online and all stores man i don't want to say that's the end of an era honestly because if you think back when foot action came out foot action was kind of like when you go to foot locker you know what you was getting hey we're going to shoes we're going to foot locker foot action was more of like clothes wise i remember urban. i remember urban. copping the pelly pelly uh Sweater, not the jacket, because they didn't have the jackets, but they had like sweatshirts and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's the end of an era, but you know, with COVID and everything going on, they have to do what they have to do to maintain them coins. They got to get after their bag, and if closing the stores is the best thing to do, it's the best thing to do. But my thing is, are they going to have like urban clothes at Foot Locker right now because I go to the Foot Lockers right now and I'm starting to see like the all city brands, stuff like that. I, I'm, I, I kind of figure since um, they're probably going to shift more to like DTLRs and place like that. That's probably where you'll have to go to get the clothes where um, more of a Jimmy Jazz or, you know, places like that. But for the shoes, real quick before we finish, Go ahead, let's rate them. Give me your rating on these and I'll give you my rating on them. I'll probably give them an 8 out of 10. Mm, 8 out of 10. Why? I love blue Jordans. I mean, the shoe is crafted perfectly. Yeah. I mean, like I said, there's no really no big glue stains or nothing really on here. I like the blue incense. I like shoe screens, blue. Word. It's just... It just hit hard for me. Like I said, I probably won't wear them soon, but... Because I've got Royals and what else? Okay. Game Royals and okay. Royal Toes. I like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead on the slant the market. And I know everybody going to hate me out there. But in the words of the great prophet Nas, you can hate me now. I'm going to just give them a 6 out of 10. Because it is a, a Jordan silhouette that we've seen over and over and over again. If you're really into Jordans and you understand... The ones is one of the silhouettes that we see multiples of every year. 
I wouldn't mind if they shelved them. And I'm talking about like a hard shelf, like a 14, a 16, 17, 15 type of shelf. Like, put the Jordan 1s away for a while. Let everything that's oversaturated the market for a whole years. Put them away. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. I would love to see some 18s and, you know, more 18s. I want the 16s. 16s. I love the 16s. 16s is great. I can see this Instagram going crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Gotta love that one. <laughs> Sorry about that, but... Mikael just got back from vacation. He a little... <laughs> yeah. I think he still got... He been in Jamaica, so... Shouts out to the pure white. Oh, that's all I'm gonna say. He just been in Jamaica. That's all I'm gonna say. But anyway... Like I said, I'm copping. I'm quite sure everybody here copping. I'm copping. We'll wear a release date. Yeah, everybody over here copping? Cop, 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 cop. Drop. Everybody in the house, cop. <laughs> of course, Dang, he hate one, so. Man. I don't hate one. He got a pair of ones today. He got a pair of ones today. He got a pair of ones today. He got a bread toe one. Does that mean that's, that's a little different? But anyway, back to the shoe. Like I said, blue, marina. We get the box. Marina blue is the color. You're so I guess the name is going to be Marina blue. Marina blue. Stop it with all the extra names. Let's just call it what it is. It's the Marina blue. I'm pretty sure Sneaker's gonna put something up there and Sneaker's gonna call him something stupid like Cookie Monster Blue or something like that, but we gonna call it Marina Blue. Y'all on here watching somebody else on YouTube. And watch our YouTube shooting video. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the like. <laughs> and um, You see the name, stop asking questions. <laughs> Shouts out to Jay Cutter and all his fans. And we out. We uh, out. Another review. Make sure, like I said, make sure y'all go check out that Racer 5 review. That was a real good If y'all like the review, let us know in the comments. Matter of fact, everybody comment. Because we want to talk to y'all. We want to know what y'all got going on. Let we want to know, know y'all. So comment. We're going to try to respond to everybody we can. I know I am. So Pull up, man. Stop asking questions. Pull up. Both locations. Both locations. We will have these on what day? We will have these on... The release date says February the 16th, which is a Wednesday, but I may be homeless if they come out on that day because I put the house that they're going to push the day back on. <laughs> you don't watch that with me. So that might be a bad idea. Yeah, but anyway, it goes. That's the Marina Blue. Christmas. You get very good Christmas presents. So, I mean, it might not be a bad day to stay with you. <laughs> <laughs> Did I your Christmas present this year? Hell yeah, you gave me a good Christmas present this year. I'm still excited about it. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about this year. That might not be a bad thing to move in with you. But anyway. Big old Marina Blue. slide you some cash. Here you go, take that. That's the Marina Blue. I think <laughs> that's our review on it. We're going to start doing it. If y'all want to see some on feet, let us know. Yeah, we'll start we'll, doing we'll that We'll start doing the on feet if y'all want to see it. but Let us know what y'all want to see from us. We, we here for the people. The hood going to love these. The hood love us. We here for you. Like, the people. Like, we all about the people. So, y'all let us know what y'all want to see. Y'all want to see less of me, less of him. We got other people we'll put in here. Uh, I don't want to say if y'all want to see some ladies, because we ain't got no ladies. Well, just, peanut, just but she got me. She's a huge <laughs> right now. Peanut and Eulis. Peanut, Jay Cutter and Go check them out. Yeah, make sure y'all go 214 Marshall Street and check them out. We're going to get the camera over there real soon. Bang, so, bang. We're going to get JP over there and get some, you know. Get some, get some, uh, <laughs> get some footage. We love y'all. We out. I'm going to get my bell. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking stupid.